Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles love reading for my dearest Libras. Libras, if these messages resonate with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, um, check out the description box if you like the cards I'm using, if you want a private reading, if you want to check me out on TikTok or Instagram. All that information is down below. Um, also, please like, share, and subscribe if these mes messages resonate with you. And don't forget to hit that, um, that little wiggly bell so you guys get updates whenever I upload new content. So we're going to start. What we're focusing on here is new love for my singles. I'm going to pull some cards from the Kipper deck, and then we'll get into the reading. All right, Libras. All right, so we've got change, okay. We've got main female, okay, that could be you, that could be your person. Remember, these are not gender specific. And we get wealthy man, ooh, all right, Libra. So automatically here, I see that you're attracting somebody here. Oof, we've got main male and main female. So this is definitely, there's a lot of potential for this new partnership. I think this person's a lot different than what you're used to dating, what you're used to dealing with. Um, with the main male, main female, this is definitely a strong soulmate connection. This person with wealthy man could be somebody who owns their own business or they're just very successful. So if you guys have been dating people who <laughs> haven't been that successful or, you know, or just haven't been compatible, I feel like all of that is about to change with this connection. So let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper and let's see who might this person be. So who is this person? We've got the sun, so you could be dealing with a Leo, but this is somebody who's just, somebody who maybe gets a lot of attention. They could have a bit of an ego, but this person, because they're very successful, I think in a lot of different arenas, not just with money. Um, I feel like they're very, they're very physically attractive. Um, this is somebody who kind of has it all. Um, this is somebody, they may be a performer or they may be online or they just, you know, whatever it is they do, they get a lot of reward and recognition for it. This is a happy person. This is somebody who's ready to um, give up the single life. This is somebody who's looking for a partnership. They're looking for, you know, to, a relationship that's going to really build them up. That's going to where they can, you know, work together with you. All right. This is somebody who may have a military background. Um, the nine of swords. This is somebody who's very strong. They're also a bit reserved though. Um, because like I said, I think this person is really looking for the one and they're used to getting a lot of attention. Um, the nine of wands tells me that, you know, they may, I, if they, if they've got their eye on you or when you meet, this person is going to hold back a little bit. Um, and really sort of suss you out, all right? They're gonna really sort of, um, you know, they may take their time. It's very controlled, but they're very, very confident in what they do. Um, yeah, and this person, they're very, very physically attracted to you. So let's see what kind of, um, what action they're gonna take towards you. All right, we've got the hermit in reverse. All right, so this person is definitely going to um, you know, they're going to make the first move here with the Hermit card. We've got strong Virgo. You could be dealing with a, a Leo Virgo cusp here. But with that Hermit energy in reverse, after this person has sort of figured out who you are, again, they might sort of, you might not even realize it, but they might be watching you or they're going to watch you sort of interact with other people. Um, they're going to make the first move or they're going to absolutely come towards you or reach out. Because this person, they're looking for their, they're looking for their life partner. They're looking for the person that can, you know, their, you know, the yin to their yang, to their yang, vice versa, and the page of swords. Yeah. So some of you guys, you may meet this person online, um, and again, if they're sort of sussing you out, they might just be sort of checking out your, you know, your social media, looking at who you're friends with, just how you do life, basically. So this is somebody who's definitely doing their research. They could already be in your energy. Like the hermit energy could be that they've been sort of <laughs> investigating, watching you. You know, I know we don't have private detectives anymore, but it's like they could also just be asking around about you. This person's doing their background checks, Libra. This person is seriously considering you. Um, this may be somebody that if you were to get married, there would be like a prenuptial agreement. It's like they're not entering into this dating. They're not taking it very lightly, okay? They're, they're, this person's very serious. Um, this person's looking for a partner. 
All right. I like this energy. All right. So how is this going to make you feel, Libra? How are you going to feel about this person? Okay. So we get the six of pentacles. Yeah. So this is what you've been looking for. Um, this is the relationship that you've been looking for. Um, you're looking for reciprocity. If you feel like you've been calling in partners who are uncompatible or where you have to do all the work, um, no, this person, this person's very different. Okay. Um, this is going to feel like a major gift. This person is also going to buy you gifts. Um, you know, it's not to say that they won't spoil you, but they are, they're going to buy you gifts. They're going to buy you nice gifts. They're going to be very traditional. Um, and you know, they're going to, they're going to, you know, bring you like flowers, chocolates. Um, you know, they might be the one that pays for the date. Um, they might even take you on like vacations or weekends away, but this person, and when I say this, it does, it's not in a creepy way, but it's, there's a, there's, they expect an equal give and take and they're seeing you as their perfect match. So I feel like this is going to be a very, very fun, very loving, very compatible, very solid relationship. Okay. Some of my Libras though, it is going to be important to make sure that you are really truly attracted to this person. Okay. Because this person has a lot to offer. Um, they're very successful. They're probably very wealthy. They're probably used to getting what they want. All right. But I also feel like it's really important that you check in and make sure that this is really truly whom you want, uh, that you're very, you know, that you're attracted to them physically, mentally, spiritually, that you're on the same page. Some of you might be a little bit worried about rejection. Okay. And again, of course you all have free will. It's possible that, you know, if you feel like things are a little bit over the top, cause I get this energy. This is like a CEO type energy is what I'm getting. And if you feel like it's a little bit, it's too demanding or, you know, they're, they want to stay in control. They're very controlling in some way. I do see that some of you may be rejecting this person. So we have the page of pentacles in reverse, which tells me that, um, yeah, some of you guys might be, you know, there might be a little bit of an energy of intimidation, either. I, I don't feel like it's coming from your person. Cause like I said, I feel like your person's very confident. Um, they might be a little bit worried that you are going to reject them though. Or maybe you're a little bit worried about being rejected by this person or if you're good enough. Um, just put all of that aside. This person, Libra, they have... They've checked you out. They know what they want. They know what they want in a partner. Okay. They know what they want. Um, they know they've done their research on you. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to pull some of the archetype cards to see if we can get more information about them. Maybe what they do, who they are. Who is this person, please? So we get warrior. So I told you there's something, some of you, they may have a military background. I also got too, they could have like, they could have Polynesian, New Zealand type background as well. Not for all of you. Um, strength, skill, discipline, toughness of will, heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice and conquering the ego. This is somebody who's definitely, they may be self-made. Okay. This person, um, yeah, this is somebody who may have come from nothing as well. So I do get this. This person's very powerful. This person has has either, you know, been in the military or just has fought for what they have. That's why they're also very, you know, this is why they are the way they are with that nine of wands, why they're very guarded. But they see you as a perfect match, Libra. All right. And we also get engineer. So it's possible this person works in engineering. Um, but this person is also very creative. Um, they have a talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So for some of you, I'm getting they may work in, it's kind of weird, um, but they may work like they may have designed something. They may have, um, you know, like I'm getting like they may have designed like or work with household appliances, like their business. Like I don't know if they work for a major company or they started or they have like an invention or something like this. But this person's this person's very, very creative. They're also highly, highly intelligent. OK, but we have the saboteur here highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Libra, make sure this is not your energy because we do see this energy of change and we also have this page of pentacles. So 
you know, make sure that you, you know, that you're not rejecting this person because you feel like maybe you're not good enough. Cause this is definitely a very high powered person that's coming your way and you absolutely have what it takes, but this highlights your fear of self empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Cause I do feel Libra, this would be like, this is somebody that, you know, would change your tax bracket. Okay. It would change your social status. And again, it's to check in with yourself to not get blinded by that, but check in and see, is this really truly a match? I really do feel that this person, they think so, okay? They've been checking you out maybe for a while or they, or it could also, I mean, for some of you, I am seeing with this, this energy that they just know from the minute they met you that you're the one that they want. But check in Libra with yourself to make sure that you're on the same page, okay? Um, and don't feel rushed or pressured into this um, because I do feel this person is very, um, convincing, very charming, and used to getting what they want. But I, I think you're a good match, or you can be. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get more info about this person. So th this person may be much younger, or maybe it's you. There just could be an age difference here. Um, there's loyalty here. This person's loyal. Yeah, this person's not looking for, you know, I feel like this person hasn't been in like a committed relationship recently. They've probably been very focused on their career, climbing the ladder, their inventions, their business. Okay, so I do feel this person may have had some trysts or some encounters, um, but nothing serious lately. Okay. Now, I did just see lost spouse fall on the ground here, Libra. So it's possible for some of you guys, this person is a widower or a widow. All right. And let's see what else we get. This person's in love with you. Yeah. Yeah, this person, they, they feel you're their other half. You're their one. But at times, they may come off a little bit self-absorbed. And again, I was getting that. They they get a lot of attention. And, I, and with... And I think they're very focused on themselves. They have been for quite some time. All right. And we get married, but I don't feel that this person is, you know, this person is in another connection. I think they're really looking for a marriage partner. They're really looking for that person. Okay. So let's see if we can get a little more info about this connection. All right, so we get release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So Libra, what I'm kind of getting here is that for some of you guys, what, like what I'm getting with this saboteur, there's a fear here of change. Um, maybe you need to let go of someone from your past, okay, that just wasn't compatible or just wasn't showing up. This person is completely different, okay? And that there might be a little bit of fear associated with that. But this is your soulmate. This person loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Okay, we do have addiction here. So for some of you, this person, you know, I feel like if anything, they could be a bit of a workaholic. All right, let's see what other messages come through. Interesting reading here. Okay, so we get best friend, yeah. So this person, they're not only looking for, they're not only very physically attracted to you, um, this person is somebody, they're, they're looking for the whole package. You know, they're looking for a life partner, they're looking for, you know, a spouse, they're looking for somebody that's going to, you know, have, that has the qualities that they don't, all right? And so they're looking for also a best friend, a lover, a confidant. You know, this person, they want it all, and, and Libra, I really feel they see that in you. All right, so this person uh, falling in love, sudden feelings of this is the one. So they, I feel like they already know. They may have, you know, obviously they've been checking you out, but I think from the first moment they saw you, they said there's something different about Libra. You know, I've got to have Libra. And they did their research and they're like, yeah. And we see that twice, falling in love, in love with you. So this person, they're, they're, they're all in. All right. Um, be the witness to each other's lives. So yeah, this is this person. They want to spend, like they want to do everything with you. Not in a, you know, not in a codependent way because I feel like this person works a lot and they've got their own life, but they really want it all. Um, you know, they don't want just sort of like a half-ass relationship here. Um, and you're being asked to open your heart because I feel like some of my Libras, you may be inclined to reject this person. Um, either if you feel like they're being a bit too controlling or if it's a little bit if they're very different than what you're kind of used to. Um, and I, I do feel some of you may be a little bit intimidated by this person. 
um, because they're definitely somebody who's very high powered um, and successful and used to getting what they want. So again, it's about checking in with yourself, Libra, and seeing, you know, is this, does this work for me? Um, but yeah, it looks quite promising here. So I'm going to leave it there. Sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.